Started. GPS on. So, hello, everybody. It's Wednesday, and I'm running to the bus stop. I've got about uh, 15 minutes to catch the 26th bus and I'll be traveling out to see my friend Derek. Didn't get an answer from him about whether he was running today but I have a contingency plan for that. If he doesn't want to run I'll probably run back from his place. It's about 11 kilometers plus what I'm doing now. I have a couple of bus tickets to use. I'll get back to you as I get off the bus. Today, I have uh, the sad news of my friend Al Howie dying. He was 70. I posted a link to an interview that I did with him on my homepage. As I approach Lambrick Park, heading towards Mackenzie Avenue.
I look in and tell your men to put together some of your things. You're allowed a few things at this stage. Who's the plan? You. At the time, you hold me over here, of course. I'll get you one of the distinguished leaders of the bar. Do you know Mr. Anthony King? I've heard of him. He's very good in the summer room. He's full of charm and cunning. But the jury's like him. So do I. Won't it be difficult to get him? We'll see. We'll see. At the moment, he's on a case in Lincoln. I'll get my daughter to run me down and have a talk with him. You'll like him. That's not as important as his liking me, is it? I think he will. Good night. Good night. So I just heard the nine o'clock beats. And I have about 500 meters to run before I get to the bus stop. So I should be okay. How Howie suffered from diabetes. He was IDD. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means that he was insulin dependent diabetic. Tributes are beginning to pop up all over my website for our people who knew that we had a connection. He was my hero. Apparently, he died after going down to the dining room for his supper. 25 years to the day from when he started his run across Canada. I will probably need to explain all this again to Derek when I see him. As I walk the last little bit to the bus stop and pause my recording once again, Inspector Ambrose is here, madam. Oh. Show him in, will you? Yes, madam.
warn you that you need not say anything, but that what you say will be taken down and may be used in evidence upon your trial. The warrant charges you for that on the 6th of May, 1946, you did willfully administer or cause to be administered some poisonous substance to one Richard Patrick Irving Paradine and did murder him. Is Derek up? I don't think so. You don't? <laughs> Give me a second, okay? All right. Is he having Carlos? He's just here with Carlos, right? Hello. Hello, Hello. 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 There you go. Hi. So do me. <laughs> Derek, hi. Did you get my messages? Oh, you should check your email in the morning, because I always have to make plans by about 8.30. And if I don't hear from you, I have to guess if you're going to be, you know, into it or not. The dog wants to play with the, with the hoop. No, I can't play with you now. I'm playing with Derek now, okay? Yeah. TV camera. In you go. So what do you think, Derek? I mean, I could easily run home. I didn't come on my bike. I came on the bus. So I'm refreshed. I'm not tired. Hi. Are you up to it or not? Because we can blow it off for another day if you want. Do you have things that you want to do today? Oh, uh, one way to go to downtown. Run to downtown. Why don't we do that then? Like what we were going to do yesterday, but do it today. I got my um, bus pass today, so I can mm. come back by bus if I want to. What do you think? It's your it's your call. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So we'll do that. <laughs> so we'll run in along Esquimalt Road. Mm, yeah. And where are we heading for? That computer place. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. I got some right in the throat, I think. Was it a bee or was it a wasp? It was a wasp right on the throat. Yeah. I got some sad news. Right. Do, do you ever remember me talking about a guy called Al Howie? Yeah. He died yesterday. Oh, no. Age 70. Oh, he was living in a care home in Duncan and he, he, he collapsed and died. He had diabetes. Wow. Yeah. He was the ultramarathon champion of the world. Yeah. He ran across Canada in 60 days. The whole country. Non-stop. He ran over 100 kilometers average every day. Non-stop. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know, he'd stop to sleep, but every day he'd run. He didn't take any days off. Mm. Amazing. Oops. But uh, there you go. So uh, Yoda died, eh? Who Yoda, died? Yoda, the running Yoda died. Oh yeah, yeah, the running guru. The running guru died. Al Howie. Yeah. Well, that's, that's too bad. Last time you saw him. Last time I saw him, I interviewed him. I think it was, I think it was in 2013 that I saw him. I went up to Duncan. He was in a care home then. Yep. He was living at the Sun Sun Lodge or Sunshine Lodge or something like that. It's sad. He doesn't have a son. His son lives in Scotland, I believe. He came over with his dad, and then he got into trouble. His son got into trouble, and he was deported back to England. And uh, Al married somebody here in Canada, 
and then he's separated from her. So he's basically on his own. Yeah, well, everybody wanted to see him, but I was the only one who actually did go and see him. Hang on, we can't go yet. We don't have the little white man. Spanish, seven and a half. So, Spanish pace is seven and a half, yep. We might go be going a little bit faster too. That's okay. We were doing seven minutes, six yesterday. Really? Yeah. It's pretty fast. It is. Especially for you, seeing as you weren't training as much as me. I wonder if they're going to have a special ceremony for Al, a special funeral. There's going to be a lot of people paying tribute to him on Facebook. Somebody even started a fan page for him. But that fan page was up from about three or four years ago. I was one of the first people to know, in Victoria anyway. One of my friends works at the care home where he was living and she messaged me and said that Al had died at supper time yesterday. And this morning I got a message from a friend of mine in Nova Scotia saying that Al Howie had died. I was just wondering how he found out. I didn't tell anybody. Somebody else must have found out and told them. It's incredible how quickly news spreads We're nowadays. Out, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Shall we go in the way we did before, along the waterfront? Um, or do we have to go somewhere else? Oh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. Yep. The waterfront. It's just a little quieter down there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Especially if we're going to be talking. Otherwise, you're going to be saying, what do you say? What do you say? I had an interview with Al Howie in 2013 on Spreaker, and I posted it again. Just so that anybody who didn't hear it before can hear the man's voice. Now, we've got to be careful here. I think we're okay. Yep. So, how's Sabrina? Yesterday was my last day of Oh, yeah. Was my friend Rob there? Uh, yep. And what about the girl? Oh, yeah. She was there. She's always there. Yeah. I think they're an item, those two. What? He works as a cook somewhere downtown. Hmm. Rob. Hmm. I have a... He's a friend of mine on Facebook. That's how come I know him. But he also takes a lot of really good pictures of runners. So he knows a lot of the people I know. I bet he knows Al Howie.
I did something yesterday that I hadn't tried for a while, and that's using my phone while I'm on the bike. I pressed the button and held it, and I said, phone, Norma. And it dialed Norma, phoned her up, and I could speak to her while I was cycling. So are you supposed to make this? Appreciate it. Eh? You mean made this for Norma? Norma. I phoned her up while I was cycling. Yesterday? Yeah. I also phoned Graham while I was cycling. But I only got his machine. I left him a message to call me back about tomorrow, but he called me back and left a message on my machine. So we were playing machine telephone tag with each other. Oh, machine tag? Yeah. <laughs> His machine was talking to my machine. There's one of those speed checks. Time. Seven. Minutes. Fifty. Seconds. Distance. One. Kilometer. One, one kilometer. kilometer. Seven. Minutes. Forty-eight. Seconds. Per kilometer. See, that's a little slower than Spanish pace, but that's the first kilometer. It always... Uh, what is it? 740. It always gives you an inaccurate reading on the first one. Because if you remember, we were walking at the beginning. And this is Dominion Street. This is where we crossed yesterday. To the orchard? Yep. If we went to the left, we'd go to the orchard. But we did that yesterday. West Bay Walkway. What's it called? West Bay Walkway. Oh, there's a heron. Yep, we saw him last week or the week before. Hello. There's the clipper. That's the boat that we take if we go and see Carlos. That's expensive though. It's about $120 return. Well, the bus is a lot cheaper, but it takes a heck of a lot longer. Oh, the guys. <laughs> we were waiting for you. Thank you. Hello. No, he wasn't running very far, was he? He was just running. Well, he was going to stop any second, that's why. When he met his wife. Yeah, well, I'm saying he was running too fast. Yeah. That's why he stopped. There's another heron. And Derek powers his way up the hill. Yeah, it's a shame you didn't get to meet Al Howie. You, you would have liked him. Eccentric. You know what that means? Excited? Eccentric. No. It means that he has strange ideas. If everybody says one thing, 
he will say something different. He doesn't take the center line. That's what centric would be. Eccentric means he's away from the normal. Now there goes that heron again, flying this time. I wonder if we'll see the baby geese. You see, we're getting back to Spanish pace now. Oh, we're going to close up on that guy. Looks like there's a lot of people running our pace today. So where exactly is this computer store? Where? Douglas Street? As long as you know where it is. So the Clippers just come in from Seattle. It takes about two and a half hours, I think. And by bus, it takes nine hours. The Bolt? The Bolt. The Bolt bus. You say in bulk. I think it's 30 for a turn. Is it Wi Fi? Yep. Is it that comfortable seat? I think so. Well, let's ask Darren. He went once, and I think Norma went once and said never again. Hmm. She'd rather pay the extra and go on the clipper. The other way is to fly there. To fly no, flying is the most expensive, but it's not even the quickest. I think the quickest is the clipper. So we just passed Spinnaker's. They brew their own beer there. Yeah, where Swan is best too. Yep. And Swan, uh, they compete with them. So Swan, I think Swan is number one. Beer. Yeah, as a brew house. Yeah. And then there's the other places that brew, but they don't have a bar. Minutes, 11 seconds. Distance, three. Three K. Seven. Seven. So a little fast for Spanish pace. I knew it would settle down. We're going to go past where I took the little pictures of the geese. Just coming up on the Johnson Street Bridge. There's one of those whale watching boats. Oh no. Is that whale watching? Yeah. I thought they were orange. There's different companies. There's one called the Prince of Wales. And the other one's called the Orca Adventure or something like that. Oh, that's why they have it black. Maybe. Because it's not a monopoly. You know what I mean? Anybody can set up and do their own well watching as long as they pass the test for safety. So no geese today. As we run past the Delta Victoria. It's too bad the Queen Victoria Hotel went down. Did it? Oh. It was there for 
decades. No drone zone. First time I've seen that. No drone zone. We're not robots. No, but they don't allow people to fly drones around here. They're the geese in the water and a heron. Yeah. Yep. That's if it's the same one. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the son of the heron. Young Heron Junior. Hello. Hello. So what's the story on the bridge? Are they going to make this new bridge work or not? No. They stopped work on it. They might stop working for, for a long time. Another two years. Yeah, who knows. Alright, so let's go. I had to wait once for the bridge to open and close. Well, luckily I had my pack with the auto pause. That must have been right in front of the Sabrina. A little bit. I was kind of well, wanting to move. But as I say, my app stopped. I had it on auto pause. So it looked like it was a perfectly normal run. Even though I had to spend six minutes waiting for the bridge to open and close. We're now running on the old Johnson Street. Bridge. My shoes are up. Still feet are on this bridge. Yep. Can you go like this? Still still feet. Still quiet, yeah. We're going to run up Johnson Street to Douglas, and then you have to decide whether we hit turn left or right. Turn left. That way? Yeah. Okay. I'm not running with you again. Oh, actually, the light just changed. It did? Yeah. That's what that beeping is. I can smell pizza. You can tell when you're in the downtown area because you get all these different smells. All these people with their expensive aftershave and the smell of the food shops. smiling on the phone. Ah, ah, okay. We should get the light in a second. Yep, here we go. Yeah, they put the spikes on the sign so that the pigeons don't touch and, and crap on the pedestrians. There's been quite a few changes in the downtown area since since a few years ago. There's a lot more bong shops this time than ever. And dispensaries. And dispensaries, yeah. It's crazy. I mean, I, I would love to interview um, Trudeau and say, Trudeau, how does it feel that the capital of the city is now called Pepsi? <laughs> Uh, he would be a speechless. He wouldn't know 
What excuse to say? No. He wouldn't. Come on. He wouldn't have an answer. He'd be all red in the face. Yeah. Now you're speeding up. Bye-bye, love. Bye-bye, happiness. Hello, emptiness. That was what music was doing. The Everly. The Everly Brothers. The good music. But not nowadays. Nowadays it's crap music. It's all crap. Yeah. Everly was the good music. Yeah. They, were, they were top notch at the Everly. And the Hollies. Oh, yeah. The Hollies were pretty good. But they never made it big. They never made it big in the States. And the Kinks. They never made it big in the States either. There's somewhere to be that way. Which side of the road is it on? Was that thing you say somewhere to be that way? No. It sounded like that. I thought he said somewhere to feed that way, like he was looking for somewhere to eat. I don't know if we got the light here. Yep, I think we're okay. Have you ever been to Paul's Motor Inn? No. They have a karaoke there. I wonder if they're, uh, I wonder if they're thrifty food. Oh, food class. Oh, yeah. They not food class. Uh, safe. Food safe. Yeah. yeah. After the break, we went. To, I went to White's Falls, and the shows came back, and everyone was like, "No, oh, you're late." Yeah. And we had like only ten minutes of a break. I went to White's Falls. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we got the light. But I was just in time too, so I didn't miss any questions. Multiple answers. Yeah. <laughs> so they were using the. Uh, that's a nice looking coupe. Here, yeah, let me take a picture of it. Hold this, will you? It's a 1942. Uh, what is it? Uh, Cad uh, Cadillac. Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Coupe de Ville. Yep, 1942 Chevy. It says it down here, 1939 actually. Oh, I was you were that close. close. It says it on the number plate. Yep, it's been well restored. Oh, that There's some other ones over there, look. That's um, a 1976. 76? Um, Is it a Bel Air? It says right over there. Yeah. Thank you for holding the voice recorder for me. Yeah, I'm not too sure what car that is. It's a wagon, it says, I think. Might as well go closer. There's a Super Sports V8 here. An SS396. And this one is a... A V8 ranch wagon, a Ford, and that's a Chevy. So it's Chevy, Ford, what's this one? Chevy, and that one is a 
another Chevy. Yeah, maybe it's the Chevy uh, Supporters Club. Anyway, that's why I brought my camera. So I got the pictures. I got pictures of those cars. All right, let's go. There used to be a computer store just down here on the left. Just for the Oh, I see. The rents must be cheaper down here, eh? What? The rents for the stores must be cheaper down here. I'm not too sure, actually. Well, yeah, probably cheaper than... Than the main section of Douglas. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because these, these, all these businesses don't look very prosperous. Do you know what I mean? Bankrupt. Yep. Because there's not enough customers. That's it, not enough customers. Look at this, medicinal cannabis. This used to be a computer, oh here we go, Mac Pros. Is that where you took the phone? Yeah. All right. Are you going in? Yeah, well, I think it's closed. Oh, it's open. Oh, it is open. Yeah. Are you going back home now? Yeah, I'm going to go back home now. I'm going to run up to Hillside and get the bus there. All right, Derek, so uh, I'll leave you to this man. Bye-bye, Derek. See ya. So, Derek has gone in to see about Sabrina's phone, and uh, I'm running back to catch the UVic bus, to, uh, and then I change bus again. Picking up the uh, transfer means that I can travel on the buses all day if I want to. this will turn out to be a good Wednesday show. Not sure how long it will be, but however long it is, it won't be more than 48 minutes. Probably be quite a bit, a bit less than 48 minutes. But that's okay. You're all busy people. I'm kind of interested to know how many of you are listening on the download and how many of you are listening at home on the computer. I, there is an option that I can use if I share my show to Stitcher then it can be downloaded to listen to offline I'm going to stop the recording when I get to the bus stop on Hillside, which will be in about another two minutes. So I should take this opportunity to say goodbye to my thousands of listeners as I run past the Times Colonist building. I'll 
out in Douglas Street. Still waiting to hear from Steve and Norman and David. They're all due to put up a show pretty soon. Maybe not before the weekend. Hillside Avenue. And up to the bus stop, I go. about it for today. Carlos signing off right now. You can throw away your career and become a, a beachcomber if that's what you want. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. Darling, don't you understand? I want you back on the job just as fast as ever you can. And I hope you're a tough case. Very tough. So that it will take the very best you have. Winning every verdict you're after. Convincing them. There you go again, darling. With all your fancy ideas about me. Incidentally, darling, you do need a shave. Oh.